hope you don't mind keeping this much distance. I mean, you have been on the road. Sure. I am so glad you're back from Colorado. Was the drive brutal? No. Every state had restrooms that were clean, masks were required everywhere. I was really impressed. Oh God. They're repairing the street. <laughs> Figures the day after I come back. What? Road work. Sorry. Oh, oh, okay. I've got some freshly baked cookies. Would you like one? Yes. Delicious. So did you manage to avoid the media blitz while you were in your cabin? Yeah, it was great. Quiet, incredibly peaceful. But I did have one adventure. One day, I was taking a walk in town, thinking about life and past loves, lost in my own thoughts, you know. And I turned the corner and suddenly, standing on the sidewalk, right in front of me, bigger than life, was a bear. It was a bear. Robert? That's right. Wow, and there he was in Colorado. What were the chances? Well, pretty good actually, all things considered. So, oh, right, you used to live there. So, how did he look? Majestic, gorgeous. Being in front of him so suddenly was just so... Oh, did it bring up feelings? Uh, yeah. Terror. Oh, it was that kind of a relationship. Well, let's just say I got out of there quick. You made a graceful exit? No. I did this. Really? It's not even noon yet. Yeah, I know, but I tie one on now with the slightest provocation. Taking out the garbage, getting the mail. It's become like a 24-7 habit with me. Oh, God, honey, I'm so sorry. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Well, not all of us. Yes, Nancy, all of us. Otherwise, we'll never get through this. I know that some people feel that way, but I don't. Tying one on every day? I mean, I think I would get sick. But it's not like you're losing oxygen. That's bullshit. I have done a lot of research in this area, and doctors will tell you excessive drink takes a terrible toll, which changes your DNA. Nancy, you are not quoting that crazy doctor. What crazy doctor? Trump's wacko who believes in demon sex and alien DNA. What I am talking about is common knowledge, Catherine. Ask any doctor. You are woefully misinformed. You're misinformed. You know, I think that Robert guy has just gone to your head. I mean, you're, this isn't like you. Who? You! Can't you see the damage being done to our country right now by the barrage of unreliable information? This country is on the verge of something very dangerous. You can deflect all you want. But you are trying to turn this conversation away from a very serious issue. Yes! Impending Pandemic fascism! Drinking. What? What? It was like there was just so much noise, you know? We, we just couldn't communicate. Nobody hears each other these days. There's too much interference. I think what's going on here is President Trump is desperate. His poll numbers have cratered. Ordered that the intelligence shop at DHS stop collecting. And Orange County tries to find ways to encourage people to wear masks. Years against COVID-19 related claims. Well, the Democrats are vowing. Honey, 
Look where we are. 